All right, 10C. Okay, let's take a look at the first term here. Requires a little bit of factoring, not much there. There's in that x squared minus 6x, it's just a common factor of x minus 6. Now, okay, and don't try the trinomial factoring here because there's only two terms, okay? So just take out what's common. Same thing down here. There's only two terms, so just take out what's common there. That'll become x plus 5 times x there. Again, this is multiplication, so instead of writing that, I'm multiplying them by, by using the cross there. I'm just going to bring the terms over. So factors of 10 that add to 7 will be x plus 5, x plus 2. Uh, and then here, see now this is an interesting one because notice that the order that these numbers come in is different than in this one than it is in anything else. So I see that there's a common factor of 3 to those two, but I'm actually going to take out a negative 3 and then change that order there to make that x minus 6. Okay? Because now it's in the, in the proper order. And, and not only that, I, I can see right now that those two are going to cancel here. And that's, that's what I was looking for. So now I'm going to state that these two, uh, I'm, going to, sorry, I'm going to state what this is equivalent to. Uh, and I'm going to make it equal by stating the restrictions here. So first of all, those common factors of x disappear so long as x is not allowed to equal 0. x minus 6 over x minus 6 will be 1 so long as x is not allowed to be 6 x plus 5 divided by x plus 5 will be 1, so long as x is not allowed to be negative 5. And then I'm basically left with just x plus 2 over negative 3 with these restrictions here. There's no other restrictions uh, because there is no other x in the denominator.